Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into Waldo 3 and showing you how to easily use it for object detection. Whether you're a developer or just getting started with AI, Waldo 3 can simplify the process of detecting objects in images and video streams. Let's get into it. First things first, what is Waldo 3? Waldo 3 is a powerful AI tool that makes it easy to perform object detection in images. It's designed to help developers automate and enhance their workflow, making it perfect for tasks like image recognition, tracking, and analysis. So, how does it work? Waldo 3 provides an API that you can use to send images, and it will return a list of objects it detects, complete with labels and bounding box coordinates. It's a simple and effective way to integrate advanced AI into your projects. Alright, let's get started with Waldo 3. The first step is to sign up for an account on their website and get your API key. This will be your personal access token for making requests to their object detection service. Once you've signed up and gotten your API key, you're ready to integrate Waldo 3 into your app or project. Today, we'll be using Python to send an image to the Waldo API and detect objects in it. Here's a simple Python script to get started. First, we need to install a couple of libraries, request to make API calls, and pillow to handle image files. You can install them by running the following command in your terminal. Bash copy pip install request pillow. Once that's done, we'll write some Python code to send an image to Waldo 3's object detection API. Here's how you do it. This code sends an image to the Waldo 3 API, and it will return a list of detected objects, each with a label and bounding box coordinates. You can use this information to draw rectangles around objects or filter results based on confidence levels. Alright, that's it for today's tutorial on how to use Waldo 3 for object detection. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.